They say it's good to go on YouTube um, once a day for seven minutes long. My name is Phil. My friends call me Seven. Last name Kirtan. I've had a rough day today. A good day, bad day. I took two anxiety medicines, but I don't think they're working for crap. But I also didn't eat very much today. And I'm like so anxious about buying a truck. Like I'm so anxious. I had to sell my other truck, my dream truck, for $20,000 less than what I bought it for. A great friend of mine has it who's a veteran, and it's gonna go to his kid. And that does my soul good. It just doesn't do my pocket good. I'm driving my kid's car now today, right now, which you might have seen in my other videos. Get in your own fucking lane. Jesus Christ. Excuse my language. I wish that I could fight somebody. I'm a grown man, I'm 39, I just turned 39 very recently. And it sucks you can't fight nobody no more. I'm kind of manic right now if you can't tell. <sighs> They're changing my medication again tonight. So what it means if you have a chemical imbalance like I do, it means that um, every time they change your medication, you go loopy again. I love my hometown, but it's full of assholes. I'm in Stockton, California, heading home to Linden, California, if you're wondering where I live. It's been a rough day, man. It's been a rough four months. I've had prostate issues for four fucking months. And one of the worst things about that new medication, the best thing about that medication that I was on, it helped me sleep. Like, I'd fall asleep like a log with that medication. The worst thing is 100%. It Fs up my libido bad, bad, bad. And I am a hypersexual person. I have a beautiful, amazing wife. We have a very good relationship all in all. I have no libido. So on top of a bad prostate that I'm in pain most of the time, it's not just that. No, no, it's not just that. Now I can't even act on it when I, when I can. It makes me want to drink again. All this shit makes me want to fucking drink again. All of it. I'm already depressed. I already... Him not wanting to be around. If I didn't have a family, I wouldn't be around. That I can guarantee you. Um, so, I'm starting new meds again. I asked them to up my anxiety meds, but it's, you gotta talk to this doctor, talk to that doctor, talk to this doctor, talk to that doctor. It sucks sucks so bad. Oh, I'm gonna go to CarMax and look at what they don't have. Fuck it. I'm so depressed, I might as well look at trucks that I can't buy. Again! And again, and again, and again, and again, and again. No, I'm not. This is gonna make me more depressed. This is what it's like to be bipolar. This is what it's like to have manic everything I'm gonna start to take the front edge fuck it up I'm grateful for God and I'm grateful for my family I need a motherfucking truck so I can go back to work I feed the homeless often not enough but I wish I could do it more, honestly. But at this point in my life, I'm around. And the demons are louder than most voices in the, in the world. A lot of people don't want to be around me, and I don't blame them because I do not want to be around me either. But I have to. 
because I have a lot to do on this earth. I'm trying to buy a church. <laughs> this crazy bipolar me is trying to buy a church. So I can help people like me that have mental issues, abandonment issues, PTSD, ADHD, dyslexic as fuck, can't hold a job to save my family's life. I'm in tears a lot. I'm in tears right now, but I'm having a conversation. My soul is broken as well as my heart. If you can't provide for your family, then why are you around? These are the voices that I hear on a constant. At least with alcohol, I could drown them out. So this is a what was me video about my life today, February 14th, 2024. I just turned 39. Just turned 39. I've been sober off alcohol for six weeks and three days. I don't wanna drink ever again, but it's been super fucking hard constant, you go up and then you get your knees kicked out, man. Not your legs, your knees. Crawling through life, looking for a smile. And the whole time just wishing for better for others. Ones I don't even know. I had a beautiful conversation with my brother, Kay, at Joe Sons today, today. And I love Joe Sons and Lodi, and I love the, the men that work there. The Asans are very good men. I upset my wife all the time. And that is devastating. Brutally devastating to upset your... my wife and my kid. It makes me not want to be around. But I have to. So there you have it me ranting about the pain of existence. But believe it or not, I do love life and I do love me. It's just motherfucking hard. Like most things in life. We have to earn our smiles. Like a painting that I made that didn't sell. I, I literally put the price on that painting at the, the bid is one cent. Like it starts at whatever someone wants to pay for it. It's a little too big for me to ship, unfortunately, and people stopped asking if they could buy my art. It's all good. I'll keep, I'll keep making them. They make, that makes me happy. Like, I got paint all over my hands right now, and I'm going home, even though I wanted to <clears throat> go to the ocean again, because being at the ocean to me is calming, maybe because I'm an Aquarius and the, 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 the water. I need to go to the desert and feel this big. So this video was a little longer than expected. Thank you for your time. I'm sure not very many people saw it, but that's okay. It'll be here one day when I'm not, and I'm not trying to be morbid, I promise you that. I missed my turn. So I'll post this video real quick. And I pull up in front of a church.